other than that, it was a good day. Yeah, it was an eventful day. Yumiko and I uh, made our decision about the, uh, what I guess I can call it, the, the, the haunted house, maybe. <laughs> After that video I uploaded yesterday, uh, we were trying to decide if we were going to uh, um, buy that house. The, what we call, I, I just called it the haunted house, but more properly, we identified, me and I codenamed it the Hirayama house, which means the flat mountain house, because it's in the village called Hirayama in Shizuoka. Um, we had been looking at the place for about two weeks now after Yumiko found it, including having contact in the realtor. It's the first house we've actually had that done. And we had uh, two visits to the house by our, our family, my wife's family, her brother and his family, and her, her sister Yoko and our daughter Emily went there uh, last week and just without the realtor and just looked around the place. And then they went back um, uh, on Tuesday, uh, which would be Monday for us, uh, Memorial Monday, Memorial Day Monday, and I uh, got an inside tour. I cobbled together bits of video and, and uh, still clips and created a video that I shared on social media yesterday and YouTube, etc., soliciting feedback about our, our, our idea. Now, this house is a disaster with a capital D, um, probably a death trap, too. Funny that one of my, my closest friends on, uh, 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 on LinkedIn um, which is, she's a great friend altogether, uh, not just on LinkedIn, but uh, she's a fire inspector, and she fired back a list of questions for me, and I was, and I commented to her, um, well, I would, I would expect no less from a from a fire inspector, <laughs> and it made me realize that place is a death trap. <laughs> anyway, even before all of that. I had posted on all the social media the video, and it was a long video, 13 minutes, cobbled together with eerie music, etc., and with a simple title of Should Yumiko and I Buy This House for $25,000, House in Japan for $25,000, and then the tour. And if you see it, you'll see just what a uh, disaster it is. I mean, it is a ghost house. It would require a lot of work to just be livable again. Uh, but that was part of the plan, right? We have a budget for the house, and we can use the budget in multiple ways. We could use the whole budget to buy a house that's ready to live in, or we could use a part of the budget to buy the a disaster cheap and then use the remaining budget for the, as they say in Japan, the reform and the remodel of the house to make it livable, right? That was That's what we would do with this place. The main attraction to this place was the location, which is our highest criteria, number one criteria to, to find a place that's countryside, yet close to the city, close to Yumiko's family, close to, to, close to amenities. And this house in the village of Hirayama is square in the target of that. That's our number, number one criteria. In fact, I have a spreadsheet that's all laid out and I weight these criteria. Yumiko and I score the houses and I give them a weighting. And, they, and, and, and uh, the attraction gets a heavily weighted um, positive uh, score. And it, by, in doing so, this house rose to the top of the list. There's currently four houses on the list. It rose to the top of the list, and the next houses below it are quite a ways down in terms of score. Um, uh, and then there is one house. Well, and I, I, I had a great conversation with Yumiko earlier in the week during our our walk on, on a slightly different topic, but we came up with the concept of I was sharing with her the English concept of the white whale. You know, and, and Ahab. I told her about Moby Dick. And uh, how you can be distracted and miss out on opportunity by the virtue of our hunt for the white whale. And I told her that, um, you know, the another house in a similarly sounding community called Hira, Hira, Hirasawa, not Hirayama, but Hirasawa, is the house that we're after. And I told her that's our white whale. The problem is we can't contact the owner, though, despite our efforts to try to buy the place. So Hirayama is on the Hirasawa is on the list, this Hirasawa house, but we can't plug in data or we can't even make it real because it's like it's like the white whale on Moby Dick. We don't know where it is. We can't reach it. We can't get to it, and we may sail past opportunities in our search of the white whale. So how did all this end? After I posted, keeping the white whale in mind, keeping Hirasawa House in mind, after I posted on social media, in all the various places that I do, the video and the, the request, a um, long five-paragraph description of our, of our criteria and interest and a request for comments, an RFC, so to speak, to use the lingo, um, within about 30 minutes, my phone rang. I was sitting out in the garden playing guitar, 
and the son and the and uh, Yumiko is still working because she I started earlier than her so I finished the day earlier than her so I was sitting out there playing the guitar and Yumiko was still working and the phone rang sitting next to me it was Emily calling online and I answered it and immediately jumped up and went inside and uh, put the speakerphone there with Yumiko and it was an intervention no, Emily had been to the house. She's in Shizuoka right now. She's staying with her family there. She had been to the house. She had talked to the realtor. She had uh, seen the place firsthand. And she basically was calling us. She had seen my post, I believe. I didn't actually ask her that, but the timing was too too close to, to, to doubt that. Um, and uh, she called us to basically tell us, Mom and Dad, you haven't been here. You don't know what this house is like. Let me tell you a few things about the place. And her comments were... Uh, decisive and greatly appreciated she told us for example that um the house is very dark now we kind of knew that and we did know that we we had plans to remediate that but she was like no you guys don't know just how dark it is it's really really dark and we may not be able to do a lot about that so one that's one we'd have to have to consider we don't want to necessarily live in a very dark house um she mentioned that the road outside uh, was busy I mean, we're not busy. There's not a lot of cars because there's nowhere to go. It's just the village. Sure, the road goes up fire, but there's nowhere up there. So there's not a lot of cars, but she mentioned that it's narrow and some of the cars go by really fast. So she wanted to point at that out. Imagine two old people you know, creeping out of the driveway onto that road. So that's something to consider as well. And then she said something that was really interesting. This is, this is heavy. She, and I, I might struggle a bit to find a way to say it in words, in appropriate words, she commented that, that now Emily grew up in in Yada, which is very close to Hirasawa, which is the other Hira, right? The white whale. The place the white whale is very close to where Emily grew up. In fact, she, she was up there walking there earlier in the week. She commented that something that kind of subliminally I knew, that that Hira, Hirayama, the ghost house, that community is at the wrong part of town. It's not that it's bad. It's not the other side of the tracks. But it's not our part of town. Our part of town is the other side. Good, good observation, Emily. You're right. So, that was it for me. And it was it for Yumiko. With no words, no words even passed. We were... We were probably within an hour or two hours of making a decision. If Emily hadn't called, probably we would have decided to buy the house. Everything is lined up. Everything's ready to go. Um, it would have taken just a phone call, or not a phone call, but an email. I think Emily saved us from that. Now, sure, and, and you, we could make Hirayama work, and we could make Hirayama our community but we're not going to. Not just for the reasons Emily pointed out, but they were kind of the clincher. Something inside of both Yumiko and I was, was not quite right with that house, not quite right. And, and, and then the, also the thing is, what's the hurry? We don't, we're not in any hurry. There's not a timeline at all. I mean, the, in fact, it would be optimal if we go over and just... Find the community that we want to live in, like Hirasawa, the other Hira, and rent an old house there. Or, as Yumiko said in our walk, dog walk yesterday, we can rent a house out in the deep countryside for all we want. Try it out. Hey, maybe we'll like it out there. There's lots of opportunities out there. We just, right now, the reason we're holding back on those houses, like the Golden House, right? I love the Golden House and the, uh, the Wasabi Village House. Those are the other two houses on the list that are on the on the top five list. So there's the Hira, Hirayama house, the Hira, the Golden house, the uh, Wasabi Village house, um, then the um, Hirasawa house. So there's four on the list. The only reason that the other two, the Golden and the Wasabi Village house, are are not seriously being considered. They're just too far away. They're 50, 50, about 53, 55 minutes. I use um one train station near Yumiko's family is my target destination. So I measure and Google maps how long it would take to drive from a particular house to that train station. Um, 
And it's, it's like just under an hour. So, I mean, that's doable, but do we really want to live that far away? We know that if you live that far away, you go in, you know, on the weekends. You don't go in as a matter of course. If you live 15 minutes or, um, you know, 20 minutes, I mean, to, you know, all in all honesty, it's about 25 minutes to from the Hirayama house, that ghost house, to the train station. That's not that close either, but at least it's really close to, we could go down the street to convenience store. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. You, you get the idea. It's another thing to live in the deep countryside. So Yumiko said, told me yesterday, so why don't we just, if we don't find a place before we get back, why don't we just go live in the deep countryside and try it out? Who knows, maybe we'll like it. If it works out there, then we can buy one of those houses out there and have it all except for the convenience, but then we learn we can overcome that, right? So there's no conven there's no there's no reason to wait, plus a couple of other compelling there's no reason to rush. Plus of a, of a couple of compelling reasons. The number of vacant and available houses is only going to increase. Yumiko uh, Emily told us that um, the realtor told her that the city of Shizuoka is planning some uh, measures to make to start the turnover of these houses by increasing the taxes or maybe the Japanese government is doing that at large. So that maybe the Hirasawa house, the person that owns it, the man who owns it, we know who he is. We just, he won't pick up the damn phone. <laughs> maybe he'll be motivated and compelled. Um, also, Emily told us that uh, in visiting her friends, making the rounds with all of her friends, don't remember she grew up in that community. She knows people everywhere. That uh, she, one of her friend's mothers, who has grown up in that area as well, with, along with Yumiko, that Yumiko and her mother, friend's mother were friends in school when, back in the day. Imagine that. She was saying, oh, she was told them, she says, I know all kinds of old farmers that want, as Yumiko said, they're, they, they're ready to give up their farms, but they don't have anybody to sell it to. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's in the Hirasawa or Yada area. Now, Yada, if, where you met, you make all this. We, that's probably going to be outside of our price range. In this, in the, you know, that's one of the reasons because we do have a budget for the house. I mean, we're not spring chickens anymore, and we're going to be living on a fixed income. We have to be careful. We have a, we have a good chunk of money to use to get the place. We would like to be able to do that, um, and we can do it in one fell swoop and be no mortgage or anything like that. But in, if we were to buy a house right around where Yumiko's family lives, probably can't pull that off there. Those houses are, are very expensive. But if we were just, you know, you know, three kilometers up the mountain road, we could pull one of those off for sure. And then be, uh, we don't want to have a mortgage or anything. So that would be good. Anyway, I'm way off topic. So we decided to not go for it. We didn't even decide it. We just looked each other in the eye, talking to our daughter, and the decision was made. And we have Emily to thank for that. Thank you, Emily. And the, another part of this, the fun continues. We get to keep at it because this is a hell of a lot of fun. You're going to really enjoying searching for places and looking them over and learning along the way. So thank you, Emily, if you see this and if you see this far. We really appreciate it.